Alright, hello everyone and welcome, it is me, Jam Sankis, back here on F1 Championship Edition here for the Italian Grand Prix in our career mode, which is of course uh, our last race for Red Bull Racing and I hope to give them a point to end our little partnership off, off with them, hopefully we can do that, we didn't qualify too well, we ended up qualifying 14th, we didn't do too well there, but we're moving on to Honda for the next Grand Prix after this race, so Let's just get this race on the way. The World Championship. Yeah. Let's get on with the race now. Yeah, I know the drill bar now. Here we go. Let's get this final race for Red Bull Racing off. You know, let's set, have a good send off from Red Bull Racing. Hopefully, we can end it on a high note. You know, with maybe a point or maybe even a win, but. If not, it's not a problem. Well, I'm surprised we didn't damage anything there. That was a big surprise. Let's try and go around the outside of Trulli. There we go. Get into 8th position into the points. Raikkonen's going slow. Getting on the brakes there. There's a bit of oil on track. It's in McLaren. Seems a bad start to the Grand Prix for McLaren there, doesn't it? With two cars out, well, with Raikkonen got problems and Montoya out. Oh, wait, no, Raikkonen's there, never mind. Seems a bit of a bad start for McLaren anyway, but yeah. As long as our Red Bull's in the race, we're fine, but... Because I don't want to have another mistake like I did in Turkey. That one was quite bad, that wasn't it, for sure. It's in the pit wall, that wasn't good. Oh, nearly got on the grass and spun it there. And now we're closing up on, an, on his next car. And that's Barrichello's Honda, which will be driving in the next Grand Prix in China. I'm going to try and make a pass. No. I was trying it, I was thinking of it, but... Just a bit too far back and he's better on the brakes. Yeah, some masses in second, yeah. Thank you, Rubens. I was just listening to what the commentators and that were saying, that's why I went quiet, but... I would have had optimum traction if it wasn't for that. Oh, so Raikkonen did have problems, so he is in the pits. So a terrible, terrible uh, start to the Grand Prix for McLaren then, wasn't it? Can I get Barry Keller? Can I hold off Rubens? I think I can through here, yeah, through a scary. Down the back straight. But we're not going to get any further than fifth, I don't think. So we're just fighting Rubens, Barry Keller in the, in the Honda. I almost said Ferrari, but I've been playing a bit of F1 in 2005, you know, where he was in Ferrari, but there's a Renault in the pits, it's Fisichella, and we, 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 well, let's hope we don't hit the pit wall this time on the pit, you know, coming into the pit lane, but... That's a good first first corner, and if we're actually gapping on uh, Barry Kello here, so we might even come out in fifth comfortably. So yeah, it's looking to be a good Grand Prix for us. Considering where we started down in 14th, I'm happy to finish in fifth. Bit of a weird line through there, through the first Lesmo. Another weird line, but Hopefully Barrichello won't be that close when we're making his pit stop. Because we should be alright through a scary if everything goes to plan. Yep, that, everything's gone to plan through there. There we go, we're safe through a scary. Now we've just got to ne negotiate this final corner and get into pit lane where it be the easiest part of job this one. Being in pit lane. There we go, power out, there we go. Right, let's 
Here we are. Right, we're all down to pit road speed now. Pit lane speed, sorry. There we are. Come on, let's make this a decent pit stop, guys. There we go. That's that's good. 8.3, I'm happy with that, that's good. 8.3, I'll take that. Just got to be careful not to cross the white line now. Is that a Renault out? I just looked at the mini map and it looks as if there's a Renault out of the Grand Prix. I think it is. It's Fissy Keller out of the Grand Prix and we've got Barrichello right behind us now. But Fissy Keller, Giancarlo Fissy Keller in the Renault is out of the Italian Grand Prix. Out of his home Grand Prix. Must be absolutely devastating for him because I know what that's like. But we, we look like we could be finishing decent in the points now. But the problem is all the oil that's going on track is going directly on race line through the corner. That's the only problem. But Barrichello's right there now. He's looking racy as he's coming out of the pit lane. Oh, I think I got a bit of a tap from Barrichello there. I felt something. Can we fin well? Can we get fourth place in this Grand Prix to finish off? You know, a great stint that we've had at Red Bull. Imagine what we could have done if we was at Red Bull at the start of the season. Oh, nearly spun it there. There's a button. Our our future teammate. What has button jumped us? Wow. Wow, Jensen Button has jumped us, but the Sato that needs to pick. Sato in 4th position our old uh, car team, you know, Super Guri running in 4th here in Italy at the minute but I'm pretty sure he needs to pit so it's not going to be 4th position for Sato or will it be? So we're not that far from the end of the Grand Prix 2 laps to go and I think Alonso is leading can we pass Jensen Button? This is all psychological now, considering that we've got him as a teammate in the next race in China. As I'm split between the two Hondas, and I'm going to be racing alongside Jensen next race in China, and Alonso coming around to start the last lap of the race now. As we're at maximum speed down into the final chicane, final hairpin, sorry. Oh, Schumacher's lead, eh? Eh? Hey? Well, what's going off? I don't know who's in first. Never mind. It's alright. Well, we're in fifth because Sato has pitted now. What a shame for Sakuma Sato. We couldn't go to the end of the Grand Prix. And I don't think, I don't think we got Jensen Button. I think he's just out of range. Jensen is. Yeah, he's just out of range at the minute. We can't get him, but let's hope we can try and get right close to him by the end of the race see what we can do but we'll get you next time in China Jensen if we don't get you now which okay we we'll just try and get him in China now don't push the car just try and score some decent points here let's just finish the Grand Prix get the points that we need well that we deserve sorted into it so Here we go, over the curves for the final time to Ascari. Who's going to win the race? Is it going to be Schumacher or Alonso? I think it's Schumacher. I think it's Michael. Michael yep, Michael Schumacher wins the Italian Grand Prix for Ferrari. What happened to Alonso? So it was Alonso that went out. Right, my bad, alright. I'll take fifth. Yeah, I'll take 5th place for sure. There we go. 
fifth place for this final race with Red Bull. It's, considering where we started, brilliant. Absolutely perfect. Heiko, Alonso, Rice and Montoya both out. Well, all out. And uh, we're there. Not far off Jensen Button, to be honest. Can we get seventh in this championship? Right. Yep. Who is... I think, I'm not sure, but I think that uh, Ferrari are Constructors Champions after after that. Not sure, let's check his excellent drive, yeah. And here we go, this is his final race for Red Bull, and there we are, Honda F1. We're on board with Honda F1 team now, glad to have you aboard, yeah, thank you for that. Let's fast forward again. Well, Oh, there's an advert for Red Bull, yeah, they want me already, don't know that's what it is. But, yeah, well, it's the Chinese Grand Prix. Let's have a look. Red Bull Racing. Brian wants to test his standard, yeah. So, Ferrari haven't... Oh, hang on. Oh, wait, that's because they've won. That's the Constructors' Trophy, yeah. Ferrari, the Constructors' Champions this season. And, uh, is that... Let's have a look at the driver's table again. So 14 points between Schumacher and, and Massa. I need to get in a Ferrari, to be honest. That's what I need. I need to be in a Ferrari and try and win the World Championship. So yeah, and yeah, in UG days. And the last driver to score points, sorry, is Nico Rosberg in 17th with one point, but here's our playing stats. We've got two wins of course because we got two with Red Bull. So that's the end of this video guys and I'll see you in the next race in China which will be in a few days time so thank you for watching. Goodbye.